Hey, thought you were supposed to be working. I had a headache, so they sent me home. Do you think I'm soft or something? Yeah, well, I hate Saturdays. It's murder all day. Have you been to town? Yeah, I to see what Rob brought me. Oh, hi. It's all right for some. Didn't cost much. It's gorgeous. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I like that. What's that smart? Perhaps you buy me one? Yeah, full of tricks like that. Are you going out anywhere? Er, uh, not till tonight, are you? No, we ain't going, you know. Thought we'd stay in and play this. Oh, well, we're all all right then, aren't we? Louis! It's only me. Nan, what are you doing here? You know Mum's gone to see me Dad, don't you? That's why I'm here, go on, bless. I come to keep an eye on you two. But don't put the flags out, will you? Is anyone going to put that kettle on? I'm full of a cold and I have to ask. Hey, madam, I thought your mum said you were supposed to be waking. Can I not? Does he give you something towards his keep? Every weekend and give me 20 quid towards the phone then. All right, that's good of him, isn't it? Where are we? Home, sweet home. There we are. Little detached place in the country. You've been living in Lask. I thought you said it was a mobile home. That's what I was told it was. It has got wheels and we have been living in it. Come, Ed. Danny will have the kettle on. Danny! I thought we were on our own. <laughs> well, we are, aren't we? Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Stevenson. Mike, no, he's left. When was that? Um, last week sometime. Do you know where he went? Sorry, I haven't got a clue. But the fellas are living here, Mike. They just seem to move around a lot. Don't you just? Never mind. Um, do you think I could wait for a while? Yeah, come in. Could do with a sit down to tell you the truth. If I knew you were coming here, Doreen, I'd tidy the place up, you know? Yeah, the housekeeper always had the day off on Saturdays, love. <laughs> <laughs> Starts a nice place to have a dirty weekend, eh? You have got somewhere fixed up to stay, have they? Yeah! You will love it, Doreen. <laughs> Anything would be better than this. You're fussy, aren't you? You sure this is a missus? It's not somebody you promised a five-star treatment to. That's enough, Dan. He knows his own six best, he does. <laughs> oh, here, uh... Well, perhaps I should let you still have a bit of peace and quiet, eh? No, uh, we're going now, Dan. You stay put, mate. No, I've got you in the town, anyway. I thought we might. We haven't had a chance for a decent look round yet. Eh? Right. Where are you heading? I don't know, really. I thought we might have a look at that Pantiles place, you know. Ah, I'll probably see you then. Hey, you'll find it a bit different to Liverpool. It means the shops between the job centres around here, love. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Billet. See you later. See you, Dan. Here's me thinking I've been roughing it and you're having to live in a place like this. It's all right. We'd love it at night, by the stove, radio on. It's dead cosy, you know. <laughs> It shouldn't be long. Oh, I hope you don't mind me waiting. No, it's all right. I was just doing some cleaning up. But I can wait. Mick's only been here a couple of weeks. How did you find it? No, oh, it comes with practice. Um, he's not seeing anyone at the moment. I'm not here to ask about his personal life. It's his financial affairs that interest me. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, I know what you mean. If you weren't, um, 
Tess is going to be left with this. But I'll just carry on with the clean up. That's all right. And it's around there, is it? Just go around to your right. You can't miss it. Thanks, mate. I think I'd come from the moon or something. What, love? Him. I had to repeat everything about three times. Was he deaf? No, it's the way I talk. Same with some of the blokes at work. They're always taking the mickey out of us. Oh, yeah? How many times have you done the same thing? Yeah, I suppose so. I'll tell you what, there's money down there. Some of the stuff in these shops. Don't be making yourself miserable now, though. That in June, can't I? Bye. I don't want him doing a bunk. Who's this? I'm Susan Holmes, Customs and Excise, VAT Division. Are you Michael James Stevens? Me? You joking? VAT? Are you Stevens? No, I'm not. Look, what's going on? I didn't know. I didn't know she was in the VAT. I know Stevens is working with a partner in kiln repairing. I'm told it's a mucky job. Come on, which one of you is Stevens? But neither of us. I mean, Mike Stevens is gone. He was living with us for, what, Terry, six weeks? Yeah. Uh, and he left a few days ago. That's what I told her. You won't be the first people to try and pretend you were someone else. Oh, this is soft. Uh, tell her, Vicky. Come on, yeah? Vicky. It's the truth. This is Terry Sullivan. And I'm Pat Hancock. Oh, very quick. Can you prove that? Yeah. Prove it? Yeah, I need proof. I don't know Mike Stevens from Adam. I know me dog. I mean, me, me driving license. God, mine's the way get me speeding fine marked up. Really? I know. A passport. Yeah. Got bit bit hardy. They are unfriendly. No, they're not. Not like us, though. Look at some of them on the estate. They wouldn't say hello to you to save their lives. Well, down here, just because you're a scouser, think you're a robber or a footy hooligan. Hello, really? Seeing Dukes. Well, she's not unfriendly, who is she? I haven't got a clue. Oh, come on, Billy, who is she? She got the wrong fellow, love Bethel. I hope so. Oh. Well, we don't know exactly where he's gone. He only took some of our stuff when he went as well. What was Barbados like? Great. You thinking of going, then? Chance would be a fine thing. This van business must pay well. Give me holidays like that. We, we didn't pay like it was a favour for someone. Registered, are you? For VAT? Uh, the turnover's not the higher. Yeah. Well, just don't forget to get yourself registered in time. Or you'll end up with someone like me following you around for months on end. Yeah. Well, sorry to have taken up your time. And you two. You're in the clear. At least with the VAT. Though I can't speak for my colleagues in certain other government departments. Still, I've hardly got time to go telling tales out of school. I'm leaving in a week. I have enough to do just clearing my desk. Oh, hang on. Bye. <laughs> See ya. The oldest part of town, this, you know. Queen Victoria and all them used to come here and drink the water. Did she? It's uh, full of them iron salts, whatever they are. Really? Amazing. Oh, come on, love. That girl made a mistake, that's all. Billy! Hi! See you next Tuesday, shall I? Same place, same time. What are you on about? Oh, Doe! Doe! Look, I don't know her. It's the truth, honest. I don't know her. I've never seen her before. God. Well, that's it, isn't it? She's gonna blow us up to the social. You heard what she said. She's leaving. It's too much hassle. They all pay in the same pot, that lot. VAT, tax, doll. I mean, we've had it now. The times my dad's warned me. What did you let it in for? I've told you. I didn't know she was from the VAT. She turns up here on a Saturday with a lump house here asking for Mike Stevens. I thought she was some girlfriend or something chasing him. That's the way they work, them undercover snoopers. They've got more power than the police. And we're right in it now. You've got to sign off. First thing Monday morning. We can't afford to sign off. We'd never be able to pay the van loan off without the social money. We're scraping as it is, you know that. It's better to be scraping than in jail. 
Oh, come on, love, I don't know where. Finny! Woohoo! I can't stop. I don't know where either. Oh, come on, love, I, I don't know. I've never seen any of them before, honest. What did you say to the caravan? You don't know the town yourself. Then you can't walk down the street with me without women waving and shouting at you. Well, I don't know them, love, honest. They seem to know you. What have you been doing down here, Billy, eh? What have you been doing? Nancy or Nan, don't you? Yeah, she's your pain. We moved here to get away from her now. She's never away. Are you going to do something about me, Nan? Me? Yeah. I wanted the house to ourselves and she's getting on my nerves. I know, but I can't tell her that. Well, she'll listen to you. We can't throw his own Nan out, can he? Well, you can tell her we're all right on our own. Tell her we don't need her. Just leave her, eh? Just got myself nicely settled in upstairs. I thought they were supposed to teach her how to deal with people at that place. Yeah, but you know me, Nan. Well, you're supposed to be the man of the house while my dad's away. Oh, come on. Pork chops all right? Yeah, fine. Go on. You'll never get any peace, you two, if she's here. All right, just let me handle this. All right, Nan. Yes, um, I don't think you should be here. Hey? Well... What I mean is, we are old enough to look after ourselves. I know you're only thinking about us, but the thing I is... I promised your mum I'd look after you, and I don't see anyone else cooking the tea. I can do that. You couldn't boil an egg, love. I could help her. For God's sake, Nan, I'm working. She's 16. We don't need a babysitter. I promised your mum. I'm in the police, Nan. I'm away five days a week as it is. I don't need looking after there, so why here? I know the trouble you young people can get into when there's no-one around. I'm not stopping you from going out, if that's what you're worried about. Don't want to go out. I do. Well, you can forget that. Why? Your mother doesn't want you going out. And you know why. Yeah, well, it's hard luck because it's all fixed. I'm going out with Jamie, all right? Does your mother know about this, Jamie? I won't hear to going out, Nan. I promised your mum I'd look after you, and that's that. This is stupid, this. We're not kids. A promise is a promise. You can stay in, and I'm staying here. Right? Call yourself the man of the house. Come on, let's have a meal. Can't walk around all night, not talking, you know. I don't know if I feel like it. I don't. Is this where you usually come? I've never set foot in the place. Can we afford you? We're supposed to be having a good time. Let's have a drink at least. Uh, can I have a pint of lager in there? What do you want? Martini and lemonade. Oh, thanks. That's a change. She doesn't know him. Stop it, will you? Just got me mixed up with some other bloke, that's all. It kept coming into my head what you could be doing while you were away, but I trusted you. I have done nothing. How do they know you, then? They don't. I know you could be tempted. Well, I haven't been. Some fella chatted me up the other day. What? Oh, nothing happened. He tried it on, that's all. Who was it? Some fella in your position, working away from home, staying with Pat and Terry, giving me all the business about being lonely and that. I don't want you being like him. He didn't try it on anything, did he? No. Our odd turned up and he disappeared. I'm not talking about me. I know I wouldn't stray. No, would I? My conscience is clear. I haven't done anything. Honest. Hello again, Billy. Aren't you going to buy me a drink? G and T, no ice, remember? What are you playing at? That's my don't. husband. Oh, stop it, will you? Tell a girl, tell her you don't know me, eh? Do you think I'm stupid? Okay, I'll end the jokes over. Danny, what's the score? Sorry, Billy, we went too far. Too right, you have. Is this your idea of a joke? Sorry, Doreen, I've went too far. You damn near had us divorce yourself, Melt. I'm sorry. This idiot said he'd buy us a drink if we did what he said. I wouldn't want to upset you. <laughs> what, the other girls as well? Yes, Beryl and Chrissy. We mates from work. Now, do you believe me? I'm sorry. Have I forgiven? Yeah. You can pay for them and all. Oh, hey, I'll do better than that. He's going to have a steak with me and Linda. On me. We can't let you do that. It's too right, we can. I expect he's told he's never set foot outside the caravan since he's been here, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, it's true. <laughs> Not like me. He hasn't wasted a penny since he's been in this job. I should have known. Come on, let's eat. 
열어요. You always got a bingo on Saturday night. This is Keith. It's not so good. I'm not keen on going on now. Yeah, but you know loads of people. I'm staying put. I'm going to put my feet up and have a good read. Hey, madam, you've been told. I will all get up my mum when she gets back. You can get that nut off and do as you're told. No. Well, that'll be Jamie. I, uh... All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Got your ears. Oh, Grace, where's Rob? <laughs> She's not supposed to ask that. Off the van. Oh, better put him upstairs. Just go through. What? Just go in. Yeah. All right. All right, mate. Hello. Yeah, she just shot upstairs a minute. Where are you thinking of taking her then? Uh, well, to meet a few mates. Have you known her long then? A few weeks. Her mum's not keen on her going out too late. Her mother? Well, I thought. I'm Tracy's nan. Oh, well, we won't be late. You're right, then? Yeah. Eh, uh, just a minute, madam. I want you back by half past ten. Do you hear me? Oh, it doesn't get going till after then. Nan, she'll be OK. Half past ten and I'll be watching the clock. Come on. Irene, you'll kill me. <coughs> I mean, why's all the work got to be down south, eh? Yeah, that's where the money is. Where you go with the money? I've been doing it for years. Saudi, Amman, Aberdeen, you know. You're not married, though, are you? But he wouldn't be down here at all if there was jobs going at home. Look, right. it's not all a bed of roses down here, you know. Houses are so expensive. My brother and sister have to live out here and commute. Half their money goes on season tickets. That's not as bad as him, though, is it? Going 250 miles away, living in a caravan just to get a job. That's not all that bad. It is. Everything seems to be going wrong where we come from. Everything seems to be closing on. It doesn't seem to bother anybody down here. We didn't see one empty shop this afternoon, did we? A homeless hundreds. It's not just Liverpool, you know. I mean, you might call that up north, but I can give you a couple of hundred miles. Where I come from, it's just as bad. Yeah? Huh? I think we'd better get going. Where's this place you fixed it for us to stay? Oh, it's not far, is it? Bed and breakfast, is it? Oh, it's uh, better than that, isn't it? I don't know about the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's done now, I tell you. It's not my fault. I thought this would shake me cold off. Ooh, I'm not the woman I used to be, that's for sure. God, you look tired, Nan. I feel it, love. Why don't you go up? I broke my promise to your mother as it is, letting our Tracy go out. I'll have to wait up for her. You don't mind waiting up, do we, Rod? No, no problem, Nan. Yeah. Why don't you take your glass up and have an early night? Oh, I think I will. I'm worn out. Yeah, come on. Go up, Nan. Good night, Lord. Oh, night, Nan. <laughs> Good night. God, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? Don't be soft. Are you sure it isn't haunted or anything? <laughs> if it's haunted, it's the tax man after the boss. It's massive. Fifteen bedrooms. You must have used miles of cable to it all out, you know. There you go. You sure it's okay coming in? Form as well, so out. It isn't likely to be any more jokes as they collapse in beds and that. Well, there. There we are. Oh, my God. Is that a four-poster bed? Call me on where. I've put the sheets and the mattress and the curtains back tomorrow. Found them in a the room down on the landing there. Fancy living in a place like this. Well, do you like it? It's great, love. You did all this just for me. Well, no-one else has been here with me, if that's what you mean. I shouldn't have been so soft. I'm sorry, Bill, honest. Yeah, double sheets would be handy. But it's not bad for the price, is it? Aren't you going to try it? Oh, you're not still stewing about that VAT one, are you? No, no, it's just... Well, this was Kate's room. Oh, that was ages ago. I oh, know, it's just been in here. Come on, Teddy. Well, I mean, I still think about it sometimes. 
Yeah, but you'll have to forget about it. I mean, we don't want to waste a good bed like this, do we? No. So I'll stay, shall I, and chase away the ghosts? Yes. <laughs> I give us it all, dear. Mm. How's that? Watch out, watch out. What? Oh, you must be chained. You shouldn't have drunk them if you can, Andy. What? I'll do it. You're going to break that. You saw them in the first leap on the bus. Wait, what's that in? Hey, what's going on? Is she drunk? No. She's rotten. Keep the noise down. Get in here. I'm not, Tim. Will you get off me? God. Get off. You wake me, Nana. I don't care what we're doing. Look at this day to you. She could have been nicked for being drunk, do you know that? Look, I'll have to put her to bed. You've got to do it proper or you can choke. Can you get some coffee down soft, lad? Oh, God, look at him. Look, I'll have to do her first. What about the door? I don't know. Uh, look, do you mind going home in a taxi? Oh, brilliant. Well, I didn't tell her to get wrecked, did I? I'd kill you for this. You all right? Great. You sure? I was just wondering if the kids were OK. Nah, they're big enough to look after themselves. You glad you came all this way? <laughs> <laughs>